Hi everybody. Did you know that sums in your room schedules in Revit might be wrong? Something like this. If you want to find out why does it happen and how can we fix it, keep watching this video, I'm gonna share it with you. So, I'm in my Revit file and you can see that there are just three rooms here and a schedule on the right, reflecting all these three rooms. But if you look at the schedule, it's already indicating us the wrong sum of the areas. Before I go into how can we fix this, let's try to understand why this is happening. Because if I'm gonna zoom in and take this room separation line and start moving it right to left, you can see that the sum is changing while we still see the same values for each room. And the reason is while we see only two digits after the zero, in reality Revit has way more digits there. In this case it has one additional decimal here. And if I move around this line you can see that these values are changing. And whenever you have a lot of rooms in your project this can accumulate to much larger numbers. And the problem here is when you send out plans and schedules to your client and they verify it manually to the plan, there might be some incorrect values. There is actually a fairly easy solution to fix this. Let's go back a little, like this. To do this, we have to go to our schedule and we go to fields. And here we need to create two parameters. First, we're going to create a temporary parameter. We're going to call it integer area. Then in type, we need to select integer and in formula, we need to select area and divide it by one and multiply it by 100. We need to divide it by one to account for units. In this case, we need to remove square meters and Revit will do it if we just divide by one. And then we multiply it by 100 because I use two decimals. If you use more decimals like three or four, you will have to multiply it by 1000 or 10,000. In my case, it's just 100. I click OK and let's see what it gets us. This is exactly what we want. Now we go again to the field, and we need to create the next parameter. And here we need to select area. We're going to call this parameter rounded area. Now we've taken our temporary parameter, which is int area. We need to multiply it by one to account for square meters, and then we need to divide it by 100. Now let's go to our formatting. Select integer area, make it hidden field, because we don't want to see it. And then rounded area, we need to select total calculations. Click on OK, and here we go. And now, once we made this, if we take our room separation line and start moving it left or right as before, you can see that value corresponds to the values that we actually see on the screen and in the floor plan. This is very simple workaround to fix your schedules, and it doesn't take long. But in return, you get very accurate values that you can actually compare to your plans later on. Thank you for watching this video. Leave a like if you just found out about this bug in Revit and learned how to deal with it. My name is Eric and I will see you in the next video. Bye.